I think we are seeing a resurgence of tablets in the market right now and that is for the right reasons too because as of now, you know, the pandemic and whatnot, we are all working from home and also studying from home. So we do need these kind of devices to help us do our work. One of the big releases in the Android tablet market is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE that we have here. It comes with the right price and the right features, but is it actually good? So in today's review video, let's take a look at this tablet. So before we talk about this tablet itself, we need to talk about the unboxing experience because it does come with quite a lot of things inside this box. So once we get it open, we can see we also got a charger, a cable, the S Pen alongside with the tablet and some documentation. Putting all of those aside, let's just take a look at the tablet itself. So this tablet is quite huge, I would say, and this entire tablet is also made out of aluminium. So this back piece here, tough aluminium metal and even the sides the frame is also made out of aluminium as you can see at these sides here you do have antenna lines so all of these antenna lines means that it's a metal back and also a metal frame and we are looking at the sides we can also find two speakers one on each end of the tablet so you can put your tablet like this and then you can listen to whatever you want or maybe even watch movies while you're using this tablet in landscape mode and taking a look at the top side here, we also got a micro SD card expansion slot. Yes, although this is a Wi-Fi version of the tablet, we still got a micro SD card slot, which is really nice. And now let's talk about the screen of this tablet. This is a massive 12.4 inch IPS LCD screen. And please don't add me because this is an IPS LCD screen, regardless of what Samsung write on their spec sheet, because for some reason, Samsung never writes anything that's not OLED as IPS LCD or TN panel for that matter. And uh, the reason why we can confidently say that this is an IPS LCD screen is because number one, if you're viewing something black, then you can see that the black levels, the black color isn't as deep as an OLED screen. And also if you're looking at it at an extreme angle like this, the colors doesn't shift like a TN panel. So yeah this is an ips lcd screen tft is an umbrella term that covers both tn and ips panels and i feel like this is a misconception that a lot of people will need to learn that aside this big screen here is actually very bright as it can go nearly 450 nits in terms of brightness and this display is also rather color accurate as you can see here now we first tested it in the native color profile for some reason, the colors are not really that accurate, but when we switch it to the vivid color profile, which is what it was using by default, then for some reason, the colors are much more accurate compared to the native color profile. So if you're getting this tablet, I would just advise you to stick to the vivid color profile. And this big tablet also comes with some bezel, which is perfectly fine because I can hold the tablet like this without accidentally touching the screen. And also, with such a big display means that this tablet is suitable for work and play and watching movies, all of those stuff. And speaking of work, we should next jump into the desktop mode of this tablet right here. So just like many other Samsung products out there in the market right now, you can just use Samsung DeX on this tablet itself. So what you do is just scroll down and then you can see there's a DeX button here, press it and then it will immediately switch into the Samsung DeX mode, which is essentially a desktop mode on the tablet. And if you connect your external keyboard and mouse through a USB Type-C dongle, plug it into this tablet, everything will work immediately. Plus, if you are already using a Windows PC, like I am here behind, then most of the Windows keyboard shortcuts will also work with Samsung DeX because they are just very familiar even the interface is very familiar as well so yeah i think you can adapt between both windows pc and also samsung DeX very easily and you can use them interchangeably and speaking of that samsung DeX is just very powerful compared to many other competitors out there while samsung DeX is very mature compared to many of its competitors out there in the market um, one thing that I'm worried is that this tablet here 
is starting at 4 gigs of RAM. So imagine this, I usually review laptops by opening Spotify, Google Chrome, Telegram and also Facebook Messenger in the background while doing my work on top of it. So that kind of workload usually will take at about 6 gigs of RAM on a Windows 10 PC or laptop and for this tablet here um yeah 4 gigs of ram is not gonna be enough because i did try to track it using this ram monitor app here and i consistently use at about 5 gigs of ram all the time so if you're getting the base version of the samsung galaxy tab s7 fe then maybe 4 gigs of ram will not be enough for you but i'm not particularly worried about that because I think Samsung is bringing in the RAM Plus feature which is essentially using your internal memory as a extra RAM. Just allocate a part of your internal memory and treat it as RAM. It's not going to be as fast as dedicated RAM but at least it's there if you need it. And oh by the way the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE also supports HDMI output over Type-C so I can plug it into whatever monitor that I want with just this one port here. That's really convenient. And now let's talk about the performance of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE because I think this tablet is very powerful because it comes with a Snapdragon 778G chipset and from what we have already tested in our gaming review of this tablet, it can achieve a very high FPS and particularly that is thanks to the aluminium body of this tablet here which acts as a giant heatsink for that 77G chipset so the chipset can reach its full potential without ever reaching the thermal limit of 46 degrees celsius which is excellent and i mean i played quite a lot of games using this tablet too and yeah it just works fine now performance aside we need to talk about this s pen here so this s pen as we mentioned earlier comes included with this tablet in the box so this s pen is relatively thick and it's also very nice to hold very nice to write with and it also has a single button at the side here so you can use all of the shortcuts that you've already come to know with all of the other Samsung devices that supports the S Pen and one major benefit of this large 12.4 inch screen is that I can literally rest my entire hand on this tablet screen and start drawing on this screen here so the palm rejection works really well the pen also feels amazing to write on this glass screen here and yeah I'm just having a really nice time with this whole setup overall. And since this screen is using a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, it's actually perfect if you want to convert this whole tablet into a digital whiteboard for online classes or online teaching because like what we showed in our previous video, you can connect this tablet via Samsung Flow to your laptop and then share your screen use this S Pen and start scribbling on the screen to use it as a digital whiteboard. That's just, yeah, it's just a part of the Samsung offering that they have, which you can obviously take note of and also utilize it if you have this tablet. One thing I need to highlight though is that this S Pen just magnetically snaps behind this tablet here, which uh, there is no indicator that it should go there. Unlike the Galaxy Tab S7 and S7 Plus which has a line here which tells you that you need to put your pen there. Yeah, that's just non-existent here. So there, this is where you officially put the Galaxy Tab S7 FE's S Pen. And one of the comments that we got is to be a bit more aggressive to this tablet and see if the S Pen actually drops. So I'm gonna do it now. Whoop. Yeah, it does drop, but it's very difficult to do it and my hand is just painful right now. So I can assure you that this S Pen is most likely not going to go anywhere. And then comes the battery life of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE. Well, this tablet, it comes with a 10,090 mAh power battery and I can for sure tell you that this tablet will last you throughout one whole day if you're going to use it in laptop replacement mode while it's connected to an external keyboard and mouse and yeah it, it will just last you throughout one whole day of usage because I tried that and I still have like 40-ish percent of battery at the end of the day 
So yeah, I'm sure that you cannot deplete the battery in just one day. But how about the charging time of the Galaxy Tab S7 FE though? Well, I think this is a bit interesting because this tablet comes with a 15W charger inside the box. And it takes about 3 hours to charge from 15 to 100%. But the Samsung Galaxy S7 FE actually does support 45 watts of USB PD PPS charging. So for my case, I have this Ugreen charger here that supports USB PD PPS. Use this to charge this tablet. And what we got is less than 2 hours to reach from 15 to 100%. I'm just not quite sure why Samsung didn't include a 45 watt charger inside this box. Mm -hmm. And lastly, I think we should ask the question, should you actually buy the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE? Well, we should take a look at the price first because this tablet is starting at a price of 1899 ringgit for the 4 gigs of RAM plus 64 gigs of storage version that is the base model. So let's take a step back and take a look at the bigger picture. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE is pretty much the best all-rounder tablet that can do everything very well. Ranging from just a bigger Android phone to a literal laptop replacement via Samsung DeX. Or even using this device as a drawing tablet because it comes with the S Pen in the box already. Maybe combine multiple devices together and use this tablet as a digital whiteboard. That's up to you. This is a very versatile tablet and that starting price of 1899 is, well, pretty worth it, I would say. If you don't need that much RAM, then the base model with 4 gigs of RAM is sufficient. You could also opt in for the 6 gigs of RAM model, the one that we got here, which is priced at 2199 ringgit. I'm not really concerned about the storage here because, once again, this tablet does have a micro SD card slot. But before we end this review, is there any alternative to the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE? Well, there is one, the Xiaomi Pad 5 plus the Xiaomi Smart Pen. That combo will cost you 1,798 ringgit. But the experience offered by Xiaomi is a bit lackluster here as it has quite a lot of downfalls and only the Xiaomi Pad 5, the tablet portion itself, is good. Even the Xiaomi Smart Pen is nowhere near what Samsung has developed for the S Pen over the decade. And oh, I also saw some other reviewers saying that the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE isn't exactly a good deal because the price is too close to the Galaxy Tab S7. And to that, I would say that is not actually applicable here in Malaysia because the price gap between S7 FE and the Tab S7 that's in the market right now. Um, yeah, the gap is still at about a thousand ringgit, which I think is just too big to justify from upgrading the S7 FE to the S7. So, yeah. So that's it. That's all we have to share with you about the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE. I really like this tablet. It's very versatile. Comes with a lot of features, and yeah, I'm I'm just really liking this tablet overall. So if you have any questions, do leave them down in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys in the next video.